Hi everyone and um, welcome to the presentation for uh, Cambridge National Level 2 Certificate in Sports Studies or just Sports Studies as we like to, to call it. My name is uh, Rob Hawkins, I'm the Head of PE and what I'm going to do for you for this presentation is just take you through the structure and what you can expect if you were to take this course next year. Um, so as you can see it's um, not a GCSE um, course but it is the equivalent in terms of the size. So how we measure this course is in terms of guided learning hours. So it is the same as one full GCSE and you would have five lessons over the fortnight dedicated to this should you choose it. The grades at the end of the course and for each unit are pass, merit and distinction. Um, but you can get a distinction star um, at the end um, as your full grade. OK, these are also split up in further increments, which I'll, I'll show you with you later. So we have two mandatory units and two optional units um, that we take out of the four units you will study. The first one is an exam called Contemporary Issues in Sport, and then three others that in, in, involve written coursework and there are some practical elements as well. This is what makes the course so desirable is that we're able to test our students in a number of different ways. Um, they don't just have to have the pressure of one exam at the end of two years. Um, it's ongoing assessment and we can really um, work with students to get the best out of them. In effect, it's a course that set up students to succeed rather than put masses of pressure on them at the end of year 11 um, with the potential for failure if they don't perform on the day. So the first unit is an examined unit and this is the topic, contemporary issues in sport. So it's the wider aspects of sport, how, we, how it runs in this country the major events and how they're run in this country and how we encourage people to participate what we call grassroots level to get people involved which obviously then affects the health and well-being of the nation. It's all quite current, um, it's really topical and what we do with this one is focus it on it entirely for the first autumn term in year 10. Okay so we put the students through their first ever external exam um, which they'll sit in January uh, for this cohort it will be January of 2022. Okay, um, there's clear reasons for that. Um, we think we can teach it to a good level and also help the students um, get a result in it in January. But if they don't, um, then they have the option of a retake in June. Okay, rather than spreading the whole thing out through June, we figure we can get them good results in January and therefore um, we can then concentrate on coursework. Um, three or four years we've been running for this, this course now um, suggest that is a good move because our results are always excellent in this exam and then it gives the students just an opportunity to work on their coursework and practical. Developing sports, sports skills is the second um, compulsory unit, um, largely practical. Um, students will be assessed as an individual performer, a team performer, um, then in some role as an official or umpire or, or referee. Um, and then they will do a, a written piece, usually based around their um, best sport or the one they're most experienced in, where they'll write about um, in, almost in a way as a coaching role where they'll pick skills and, and come up with a six session plan of how to develop that skill or those skills. Um, the illustrations here I've put on there, um, the horse riding one, we won't do horse riding in school, we don't have any horses, um, but if we do have a, a student who does this to a standard outside of school, competes in equestrian or show jumping, um, this can go forward as their individual mark for their, or their sport, their mark, sorry, for their individual sport. If they play football or rugby or netball outside of school as well, this also will help enhance their mark. Um, and of course, um, as soon as COVID restrictions um, are reduced, we also be running team sports and, and athletics competitions in school so we can make these assessments. Sports leadership is a unit we choose to run because it ties in really nicely with the level one sports leadership course that we run as a standalone qualification anyway for year 10. So they marry up really nicely. Um, as a school, um, we have a very strong reputation as producing good leaders and have about 100 at the moment in the current year 10 going through the course. Um, 
So if you're interested in doing sports leadership anyway, and then you do this course, there's that really good overlap. Where with this course, the assessment at the end of all their training to do with sports leadership, which happens in a practical environment, um, is the students will be assessed actually running a, a sports activity session for some year sixes who come up for a taste a day in the summer term. And again, all being well with any COVID restrictions no longer being enforced, we will be able to, to run this successfully. And it's a really good event. And, and in the students previously, when we ran it in um, 2018 and 19, really, really um, got a lot out of it working with the youngsters. The final unit um, the students will study is developing knowledge and skills in outdoor activities. OK, so this really takes us or takes them, all of us really out, out of our comfort zones and beyond what we normally teach on our, our normal school PE curriculum. Um, so we have planned for this visits to Mountbatten Activity Centre where students can kayak and climb and abseil. Um, and then based on those experiences, um, they produce some pieces of coursework um, relating to risk assessment, health and safety, um, and just the general knowledge of what is out there in our local area and, our, and in the country to do with um, outdoor activities. It's a really nice unit to do, and like I said, really pushes the students out of their comfort zones um, in, the, in a practical sense. So it's, it's a really memorable unit when, when we're able to run it. Assessment methods. As I mentioned, one unit is examined and three are practical and coursework. Um, and we're quite well versed in terms of taking students quite quickly through examination um, assessments. So there are a number of routines and tests set up following each learning outcome for the first unit. But we also um, uh, hook students in with their learning and, and pr uh, uh, provide lots of metacognition techniques uh, to enable them to learn things that they can then for get good marks in, in their exams. We focus a lot on exam technique because we are fully aware it will be their first external exam um, as a year 10 student, I mean, across any subject. So this is a big part of what we do. So the questions um, we'll share with them from past papers always, and we'll also take a look at um, a lot of uh, um, past paper questions and, and sorry, mark schemes to go with it. Um, highlighting patterns, keywords and terms so they come up with the correct terminology as we go through. Examples of such things as how they remember Olympic and Paralympic values. We put this as ref dice. This is on display in classrooms and things and then they can remember them quite easily then as, as those seven areas. Another example where we also take them through exam questions is we'll um, run a revision conference and again highlighting the re real key points of what to write and what not to do um, taking in bo on board examiners comments from previous past papers so as mentioned the second third and fourth units were all marked um, and assessed via coursework or practical so these are moderated externally but to help students we, hope we structure all our coursework units um, with templates. So students are, um, are given all the information about how to achieve the top marks. So we call them mark bands. Um, and then guidance is given in lessons about how they can do this. All work then submitted and returned through Teams. So we have ongoing um, regular assessment methods so that students who don't get it right the first time can just can, can have another go and another go and another go and continue to build their mark. And that's why it's a course that's set up for students to succeed. The marking system is very straightforward. So each unit um, is worth a maximum of 60 marks, um, culminating in 240, and these are our grade boundaries. Because we take the exam early in, in the first year in January, we already know then what the students have got that paper if they've done well or if they want to retake that's fine but then what we then can do is build our coursework marks onto this so by the time the summer comes of year 11 we already know um, what they've got or what we're entering for moderation well before results day okay and this really is why it takes the pressure off the students um, who still have lots of exams to do um, in other subjects why should you take it? Well, obviously, if you've got an interest in sport, definitely. 
If you're going to do sports leadership, as mentioned, it matches perfectly with that. And if you want to go on and take one of our further courses in sixth form, then this is the, the right pathway. We do offer um, a Key Stage 5 two courses, a Diploma in Sport and a Cambridge Technical Extended Certificate in Sport, equivalent of one A-level or two A-level. And these will then be your stepping stone further into employment as a personal trainer or coach. You go on to higher education to study sport, uh, uh, subjects like sports psychology or physiotherapy or on your way to becoming a PE teacher, which is a fantastic job. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have any further questions, please do contact me at the email address on this slide. I'll be happy to answer anything um, or any queries or other things that you'd like to discuss about the course. And I'm just sorry I couldn't meet you in person um, on this occasion. Um, but hopefully, yeah, go for the course. It's lots of fun. Students really, really enjoy it. Um, and yeah, we enjoy delivering the course and we do it to a high standard. So we guarantee a, a good amount of success and fun. And I think that's the important thing on, when you're selecting um, your options. So best of luck and hopefully see you soon. Bye bye.